trailing in, things are feeling pretty smooth. We got the big A-team squad help pack up all this riffraff and everyone's uh, dialed in. So all we gotta do is link them together, head out on the trail. Dorn is, at the moment, stuck in a different cabin due to weather, but he's at a lake, they've been fishing, and they've been enjoying life, so I don't think it's too stressful. But as soon as he gets out, he's gonna wrangle tangle all his stuff and bomb in and try and catch up with us. We got two hunters, their names are Shane and Angel. They're really great people, I've been getting to know them. They both have sheep tags, they also have goat and caribou, but they're primarily focused on sheep. And uh, we're just gonna whip through this glorious country and hopefully find some rams. I'm pretty excited. And bam. Quick short break, bunch of glassing, no better rams, back to business. Freaked out, man. There was like marmots, big ones, you know, like teeth, and uh, we gotta go. It's scary out here. I'm actually so excited to go see Hanbun. This is the longest we've been apart. We keep saying see you soon. We've been saying that for the last couple of days, but I'm sure as soon as he tells his first story, I'll be so annoyed. <laughs> On my last hunt, uh, we were just glass in this mountain and the guy's like there's something funny on the mountain i'm like what is what is it? he's like i think it's a honey badger i'm like a honey badger we're like that's a wolverine that's called a canadian wolverine we're just laughing so hard <laughs> yeah you guys have seen the honey badger that's so funny eh yeah i got into camp day late to, uh, went hunting by myself today glassing and uh, just reconvened with the horse crew. Nice weather, it feels like it's the first little bit of uh, summer we've had, September, summer. And uh, yeah, we're gonna ride tomorrow to our next camp and then maybe even hunt on the way, and, or who knows. Do you have a haircut to show me? I do. Dan gave all of us haircuts. Speed lines on this side, you see them? lines and uh, this is probably one of the best haircuts that was given that night different haircuts I shouldn't say bad you have to cut that out because I don't want to say a bad haircut up going for a ride got some wild ponies here not this one oh I see a dark one too Two sheep. It looks like a ewe, but it's a long ways away. Oh, I think they're ewes. Got to camp, a little later than we thought. Shit shows today on the trail. Not bad though, just random shit. Dorn had to run back, grab a horse. Four year old horses leaping over creeks. Just Spectre Gadget's his name. But uh, we're here, we're doing it, we're in the patch. We're closer to the mountain of choice. We're very excited about 
And then, yeah, we're making up meals and uh, setting up tents. And then, yeah, we're just going to feed the ponies and do our thing. Hunt sheep. Blast. This is what I'm talking about. Water tent. No, water bed from 1982. Coming up. She was only four years old in 1982. Oh yeah. First blanket there. First blanket here. So we got a rig hung hun bun side up. Look how weak that looks. Look at that. Actually his deflates in the night. I think every I think we're four years running, eh bun? Four years running, Hanbun sleeps on the ground. I have a Thermarest curse. Cursed. Curse Every quick. time I buy a Thermarest, I use it for like a week and then I get a hole in it or the valve leaks. I fix the hole, another hole, valve leaks. And this one I bought especially because it was super strong and it still leaks. Hey, Nick, hmm. it's a legit pro tip too. You should try the f***ing thing. F***ing <laughs> serious. I'm sorry. Deflated a little bit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this. This smell? Yeah. Pop in, pop out, and say goodnight or whatever you want to say. Okay. Nick, I think you should try the horse blankets. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Got everything saddled, courses did good last night, first night in this camp, and uh, we've been glassing around, mountains around, seen a few goats. And we're gonna go down, uh, back down the trail and get a better view. And look at some of the mountains that we crossed by yesterday. Hopefully we find some rams. Every time you find a sheep, you get one. Night bun? <laughs> That's for caribou. That's for a marmot slash grizzly bear. Or her sheep. <laughs> Basically, you just gotta keep chewing ground until you see different perspectives. That's why it's hunting. You know, you keep looking at uh, different slopes and stuff. And uh, yesterday we saw a lamb meat on the mountain that we're looking at. Secret sneaky mountain that no one needs to know about. But uh, yeah, we'll just see. Just looking for rams, basically. That's what we we'll do. Always bring a seal tarp. That's the pro tip. Yeah, don't not, don't not bring a tarp. On this mountain. Well, don't take your eye off. I don't want to take my eye off them. Um, this one. They're seldom alone. I'll tell you, he's he's on a rock. He's on a rock. There's some grass there. By a tree. No, so hun bun. If you uh, if you look at this mountain right here, the left side you come down. Just work your way down maybe about half. And he's only about 200 yards off the skyline. You wanna get my binos over there, bud? Around here. So do I. It's coming it's giving around. a good view he's, here. He's not a dink, he's down for No. Throwing um, found ram. We're going back to camp. <laughs> We're gonna get up in the morning. We're gonna pack our shit back down the trail. Over, close to the ram, get a closer look. Hunt sheep, it's what we're here for. Very exciting, we're going, we're serious. Oh yeah, <laughs> big time. We are making our play. We've spotted him again, it's our third day. We're going up after him. Hopefully we get there sooner than later. We got some fog sitting right over him right now, but we have some strategic snow patches, which is great, because that's always good landmarks. We're packed for four days, so we're ready. We've probably got five days left in the hunt. 
but realistically we don't want to come out of here without a solid effort of him. So that's the plan. Stand going. Let's go. Should be good. Let's do it. Oh, that's a good looking room. He's there, in the same spot. Old news. <laughs> same ram <old. laughs> I have my pants taped up. Guaranteed booter. Almost a guaranteed booter, but it won't be like a super wet booter. I don't I won't fall though, I'll be good. Don't this is when you don't run or jump, right? Don't run or jump in the river. Just step safely. <laughs> we got the tape. You got the tape. <laughs> good luck guys. We'll go all across to your throat. It's pretty freaking bouldery. Sending a message to add on to my list for the next up and coming uh, delivery that I could just get some paper towel or some newspaper maybe because I've never had boots this soaked in my whole entire life. So it's gonna take a lot to dry them out. I still got 40 days in here, so. Yeah, they're still. Every little bit helps, right? We just crossed the river, everyone made it across safely, and we are looking at the sheep, trying to age them from here. I'm gonna need a bit better look at them, but pretty sure he's there. So we gotta get a little closer just to double check some of the rigs. I think his lamb tip's just there, just maybe off second there, but he's probably at nine, nine so we'll see. I feel pretty good about it. I think he's about nine. Nine is good. That's a good I really think he's over. Okay. So we're gonna get closer, confirm it. That fourth is the fourth. We're heading down, we boarded mission. It's getting dark, the ram's still there. We're choosing not to spook him. We're gonna try again tomorrow. See how fat that guy was? You know yeah, what? 
you honestly don't get that fat by just heat. I've never seen a sheep by himself eat for that long without even looking around. Usually sheep are just a little more like doing that, you know? You know, they look around, they bet. That guy fed for like, that's, that's a long time okay. for him to tuck his head into the grass and just forget about the world. He's probably never been hunted in his life. Awesome. Just made a stroganoff that I overwatered, and uh, I'm good with them. I think I overwatered both of them. It's not my thing. I usually don't overwater, especially the fact that I'm not carrying a lot of water. But our feet are really, really wet from today's river crossing, except for yours. <laughs> we are camped in a horrible spot. The camping spot is just this tiny little flat spot. This whole mountain is made out of boulders. I marked a few camping spots on the way up, but uh, we didn't make it to them on the way down. We were falling, stuck in the schnarb, trying to get away from the ram so he doesn't see us. But we're gonna wake up early in the morning, take our tents down, and hunt him. That's our plan. <laughs> yeah. You hit him the first time. <laughs> you did really good. <laughs> I knew you were <laughs> <laughs> Best day ever. Best day ever. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Longer than I thought. I can get it up. Huh. Not even that bad.
Well, that's it. We made it off the mountain. We're going to get picked up in the morning by the horses. And uh, we still got another tag in camp, so we're going to spend this last light looking for sheep. And uh, yeah, we'll we need some sheep meat tonight. And camp by water it should be good. And look forward to taking my boots off. That's it. Every day we're hustling. Hustling, serious. Every day we're serious. Ramajamalin.